afternoon, and welcome to the last edition of The Ann Gutcher Show. A sparkling half hour of entertainment that is down to its final spark. It almost makes you want to cry. And now, here's Anne. <laughs> oh, David, you're too much. That was super. This has been the most exciting morning and a really very sentimental and nostalgic morning. I told him... Uh, my fellow employees here at Channel 29 that they should have waited until after the program to do all these nice things for me because I got very teary-eyed that they gave me a most lovely, lovely gift and something that I'll be sharing with you at the end of the program. And good heavens, I'm surrounded by flowers. You'll appreciate the red roses over here because they were here when I got in this morning and there's a card on them that says, Welcome home. Love, Jim. And that's my husband, and he's glad to have me home again. I don't know who the yellow roses are from, but I do know about this plant right here in front of me. My fine guest this morning, we're delighted to have them on the program because they've been here several times in the past, and I think it's kind of nice to have, have the Leland Four on on the last show. Nice to Thank have you, you here, Lee. Nice to be here. And all the rest of you, group, glad to have you back in Bakersfield. I know that you're a tremendous success whenever you appear here. Um, we thank you for, for asking us to come on your show today. Huh? Whoops, there it goes, and there's the rubber tree. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, Rick. That's a beautiful house plant, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I said the other day. I said, when I retire, I'm going to water. Don't go home and garden and do neat little things. <laughs> Don't forget to, uh, to water it uh, as you water gate. Oh, another plug there. Another plug for that record. I don't think you're going to need to worry about getting plugs for the record in there. Well, it's just nice to have you on the program and welcome you back to Bakersfield. And I know that they'll have an outstanding crowd at Joso's because they always do when they're here. Everyone loves the Leland Four. How many shows a night, Lee? Three shows. And we close tomorrow night. We have a newsletter that we send out, and, and we've been really got a lot of friends here in the Bakersfield area on our newsletter. And if anyone would like to receive and be on our mailing list, if they just write to the Leland Foreign Care of Josos okay. and give us, you know, their address and zip code, name, and uh, we'll send them a, like an itinerary, you know, a sheet of of our dates and recording things that we're having. You know? I'm sure you'll have a lot of people asking for that newsletter from the Leland Four. Just to write to Leland Foreign Care of Josos. We're going to be back to hear them sing their newest song. Um, and I think it should be very interesting. I can hardly wait to hear them, and I, I know that you'll enjoy it too. But first, we're going to take two timeouts. Weight Watchers really works. You know, if you'd I like to be here to tell you about Weight Watchers anymore, so I really want to emphasize the last few things I'm going to say about Weight Watchers of Kern County. They have some wonderful people working in their organization. They're all Weight Watchers themselves. They've all lost weight through the Weight Watchers program, and they've all learned how to keep it off. If you have a weight problem, I really recommend Weight Watchers because they'll, they'll help you do it the right way and help you keep it off for the rest of your life, and that's what's important. Weight Watchers, 872-1506. Give them a call, won't you? We're going to see the Leland Four and hear their latest recording hit right after we turn the camera around. Okay. Nixon on the double, don't leave town cause you're in trouble When you want a song to croon, why'd you go and bug that room? Be a man and don't you squirm or you won't finish out your turn We're speaking of the White House Now that things are getting sticky, it proves your name is Tricky Dicky Do your job and please don't spoil it, Martha Mitchell's on the toilet Us vaginas just to sin, they name the men's room after him John, 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 now it's said that no one knows just why. We all know time is fly, but never such escape stick as your take trick. Where'd they go? The 18 minutes lost, we know not what the cost, only they say. Your face, sir, that erasure. Love was free for you and me. 
what happened to the energy? Oh, that don't count when rent is free. We're talking about old San Clemente. Oh, your plane that goes so fast. Why aren't you running out of gas? And gallons is the limit. Now that you're unreachable, you will remain impeachable. We're saving gas and lights for you so you can fly to Timbuktu. We think you thrust the final sword by trading Agnew for a Ford. In his day, Spiro Agnew got the game. We think he's going to slew internal revenue. He's on probation. Kennedy is waiting in the wings. Now things are looking dear. The one who just might call us is George Wallace. Why were all the men they hired? Even Coxie did get fired. Brain transplants, you can choose it. Take Dick Nixon's, he ain't used it. Where are all those tapes and things you tested? Watergate for strings. A Democrat's donkeys, what a game for strings, what a game. Fellas, do you get equal time? <laughs> what if somebody demands equal time and once you have to record a different one and have another one? They're going to be out at Joseph's tonight and tomorrow night, and I hope you have a chance to stop by and see them. Mrs. B. Alford is a 71-year-old grandmother. She's here representing the Action Corps, which is a merger between VISTA and the Peace Corps. Yes, I and am. I'd like to thank you very much for being on the program. Well, thank Mrs. you, Alford. and uh, congratulations on your retirement. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. I'm going to take the last few minutes of the program to sort of share some things with my audience because I still don't know who left the beautiful yellow roses here. I wish oh. whoever you are, you'd come forward and speak forever. <laughs> I thought that you might like to see the accumulation of four years of a daily television show. These are the formats from every program that we've ever had with all the guests and all the commercials and all the spots. And I went over them a little while ago and went through some of the things and... Maybe you'd like to kind of reminisce with me, because there's some things that were really funny, some that were very touching. There were times when I know we all had tears in our eyes. Uh, I, I couldn't leave without thanking my friend Sonny Lee, the Director of Health Education at the Kern County Health Department, because Sonny appeared on this program many, many times, and there were many times that he pulled me out of a real state of shock when I had lost my guest at the last minute, and Sonny would send someone over from the Health Department so we'd have somebody sitting here for me to talk to. And, oh, I re remember the the film, fellas, you'll remember this, Bob Banks, I know, Will, the time we had Reverend Tompkins on, and we spent the whole program talking about how terrible smoking was and what it did to you, and we showed this ghastly film that showed the lungs uh, of a person who had died of lung cancer, and it was just terrible, and the minute we went off the air, the first commercial that came on from the network was a smoking commercial from a cigarette concern. That was before they banned c cigarettes from television. And, uh, oh, my director friend John Richard who used to be here with us. John played the guitar on the program for you several times. I saw John Richard in a Breck hair commercial the other day. If you uh, watch the new Breck commercials and the fellows that are all smiling at the girls walking by, one of them is John Richard. The North Bakersfield Junior Theater, we had a lot of fun with them and the spectaculars that we've had with the high school bands and the Roosevelt School when we'd have 60 or 70 kids here in the studio and putting on a play and uh, oh, the time we had the Marines re-enlist on the program. We actually had someone re-enlist for four more years in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And the blackjack dealer, remember Charlie Crane, who taught us how to play blackjack, and Jacqueline Eastland, who predicted all kinds of things that some have come true, some haven't. Uh, oh, the visiting celebrities, Jill St. John, what a sweet, charming young lady she is. <laughs> Alan Ludden, who wasn't going to come on the program because I spelled his name the wrong way. And <laughs> it doesn't need to be nasty at the end. <laughs> oh, all the wonderful things we did, the snakes and the cougars and all the kids and the people from the government, but most of all the people right here at Channel 29 because they, they're just wonderful. There couldn't be a nicer group. Oh, yeah, I've got to show it to you, Marcus. I almost forgot. Quick, hurry, because we only got 30 seconds. This is part of what they gave me this morning. I want to share it with you because on this side, they've all signed their names, and it's... It's just delightful. <laughs> but on the other side, that is 
too much. I've got to find a great big huge wall to hang that up. And as one of my first acts as president, I have ordered the permanent license renewal of KBA KTV, located, I believe, somewhere in California. <laughs> Thank you, dear, dear friends. I cherish your friendship, and I'm going to miss seeing you, and uh, I'll be back to visit down here at Channel 29. I hope I visit with you in the community. Barbara Walters will be my replacement. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. So you'll be joining Barbara Walters on Monday, and thank you for being with me all these four years. <laughs> fine collection of furniture on Ann's show today is from Summers Furniture at 430 and 431 East 19th Street in East Bakersfield. The Ann Gutcher Show is brought to you each week by Weight Watchers of Kern County. It really works. Special lighting on Ann's show is produced in cooperation with Jim Baker Electrifier at 19th and Q. You'll find the electrical supplies you want at Jim Baker where every salesman is an electrical expert. The Ann Gutcher Show is produced live in the Bakersfield studios of KBAK-TV, Channel 29. This is Melvin Feldman speaking.